already got one. That's big fish. Good fish. No way. Again? You got enough. I got one. I got one. I got one. Fish. There we go. It's right here. Stop looking for it. It's right here. Hey. There you go. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back or to the channel and in today's video We are doing an experimental type video where we are going to be using live shrimp and gulp shrimp I wasn't planning on doing this video It just kind of popped up as as the day went on the snapper and baby sheep's head were demolishing our shrimp I had to make another move and I decided to put on gulp shrimp and that's when I got the idea that we should do a Live versus gulp shrimp video. We're gonna do a very very informal challenge video where we're just going to experiment with the two and i'll tell you guys a little bit pros cons pretty much what my thought process is when i'm using these two baits and you guys are going to see in the video they're very similar they catch the same species for the most part and they do a great job but before we get into the fishing portion of this video i still have the giveaway going on on instagram i'll put the instagram handle right here but the giveaway is still going on so you guys want to definitely get there and enter as many times as you can before the giveaway is over it ends on december 25th so mark it on your calendar and get as many entries in as possible the vanford is going to one of you guys and i wish you guys the best of luck hopefully we make somebody's christmas even better but without too much talking guys let's get into fishing all right guys, we are at the first spot and we are doing one of my favorite things during the winter, fishing a deeper hole on a outgoing negative tide. We're just using shrimp with a yellowtail jig by Mustad. You guys have seen me use this before around this time of the year, but we're just gonna drift it with the outgoing tide and hopefully find some different species of different kinds. So maybe even some big fish, we'll see. That running with it, I think. Get them. Are you serious? Oh my God, is that a red? It's a little whatever it is, not your probably. Oh. No, it's a red. Or a trout. Trout. Oh, the trout are here. Oh boy, it's not even a bad trout. There he goes. Yeah, that is true. We do have the chance of getting a slam today. There we go. Is that a red or a trout? I think that's a red. No, it's a red. There's part two. Jeez. There we go. Little red. Part two of the slam, technically for all of us, but one trout and one red so far. Let's see, you, dude. Alright, let's get another shrimp out there. We moved more than I wanted to. Yeah. Tide's really ripping out. It's a negative 0.3 today. And the fish are just gonna be stacked in this hole. Pretty much all of this is deeper area. And then you have like shallower water, so they kinda don't have anywhere to go. I think I have another one. Oh, one was eating it. Snapper just ridiculous. I gotta stop casting there. It's like a death trap. Yeah, I might put on a gulp shrimp. I only got one gulp shrimp though, that's the problem. That's actually not a bad red for the little rod. On the little rod. Huh, so how did you avoid snapper on that one? Skills. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna try a gulp shrimp around for a little bit until these snapper calm down because I don't think they're gonna mess with the gulp shrimp, but this color is called sangria. Is that not the most Floridian lore ever? You just, there he is, there he is, got him. That was fast. Oh man, they just love gulp shrimp. I don't know what it is about the little reds, all reds pretty much just love gulp shrimp. That was like second cast, first or second cast. Little guy smoked it. Probably just a little like 12, 13 incher, but I'll take it. There he goes. We're almost doing like a live versus artificial challenge right now. So one for live, one for gulp so far. Uh-oh. There he is. Oh my gosh, hello. Hi, goodbye. <laughs> Jeez. I can't believe we only got one trout. Like I feel like usually if there's one, there's like yeah. dozens more. I think it's, oh, it's a snook, I think, or a big trout, big trout. Oh my gosh. I thought that was a snook. It came fully out of the water. Not that big, but decent. That's my part two of the slam. We might have to go find some, wow. That's a good sized trout. 
Always wet your hands before grabbing trout. Keeps their slime coat on. He's a little green. He's a little green, but that is, that's a decent trout. Thick one right there. Another victim of the gulp shrimp. There he goes. Sangria, three inch on a quarter ounce jig head. It's just becoming a very, very good staple in my arsenal. It's very comparable to live bait in my opinion. I just got another one. Oh, okay. The trout are here. Brett, you might want to cast into this hole. The trout are thick all of a sudden. Not even have to edit that part out. <laughs> it's like hands are still wet. That's crazy. That's the <laughs> next cast. The gulp shrimp, like I was saying, got to have it in the arsenal. Probably the closest thing to live bait without actually using live bait, I would say. There he goes. We're gonna fish gulp shrimp for a little bit longer and I'm just gonna alternate back and forth between the two. See how much we can compare gulp shrimp to live shrimp because they're super similar in my opinion. Brett's been having snapper issues. You've been getting snapper. It just seems like the gulp shrimp really keeps the snapper away because they can tell what it is. Redfish, anything scent oriented like trout, redfish, they're just like, they forget what a shrimp looks like for a second, they eat it and then they're tricked. Thank you to Alex for the baits. fish there we go it's unbelievable i think that's a red too the the gulp shrimp is is it trout or red oh wait it's a snook no way there's my slam oh my gosh that was a uh, wow okay well you're the one that suggested it hey let's cast towards that channel where we came from that's my slam right there hook's about to pop out he was look at that barely even hooked not a huge slam at all but <laughs> That is a slam off just the gulp shrimp because I caught a redfish, a trout, and then the snook. So probably like a little 15, 16 inch snook, but. Thanks for helping me complete the slam, buddy. There he goes. Yep, the gulp shrimp is definitely outperforming the live shrimp. Brett's over there, hasn't had a bite in 10 minutes. You've at least had a couple bites, but it just seems like the gulp shrimp really singles out the redfish, snook, trout, eliminates the snapper almost completely because I don't think I've had a single snapper bite this gulp shrimp, which is crazy because I probably went through about eight or nine shrimp in less than five minutes on those snapper earlier. And now it seems like they're just, they're gone, but they're not. They're still down there. They're just not all over my gulp shrimp, which is great. Oh, here he is. There we go. Feels like a red, I think. Not big, but not bad either. Yep, looks like a red. Yep, that's a red. It's not a bad one. I'll take that guy. Come here, buddy. There you go. Oh. That thing hit hard. Oh, he popped off right there. I think it was a trout. That thing hit hard. Gosh. Yeah, it, it, trout hit really hard and then their little mouths, their weak mouths. Okay. I don't know, that doesn't even feel like a trout or that feels like a ladyfish that hasn't jumped yet. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Is that a trout? Is that a red? I didn't even twitch it. He literally ate it. That's crazy. Another little red. Sangria is just kicking butt today. Nice little red. There he goes. Watch it be a black drum. Seriously, watch. Well, that thing's pulling. The little rod's getting worked. <laughs> what is that? It is a black drum. I told you. I told you it was going to be a black drum. On the little rod. Oh my gosh. That's the first black drum of the trip so far this year, at least. That's a fat little booger. My gosh. Perfect hook set with that little mustad. That's all I do. The yellow tail. The yellow tail jig, that thing is in there, right in the gummies. Oh, first black drum of the trip. Live shrimp took that one. There he goes. Well, now that I got a gulp shrimp tied back on, let's see if we can't find a black drum, some redfish, snook, trout, jack. This hole just fills up with all kinds of crazy fish during the colder months. So you never really know what you're gonna hook. Makes it a lot more fun. Wish this wind would die down though. It's really nailing my mic. Uh, 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 uh. No way. Again? You got enough. I got one. I got one. I got one. That's a black drum. 
That's a black drum or a red. Yep, we're just, did you, you have one? Oh yeah. I can't even tell because your rod's not even bending. <laughs> what are you, what do we got? What is going on? Oh, mine's a red. What's yours? Yours a red? Yeah. No way. Oh, yours is easy release is what yours was. Oh, there's two more reds. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I don't want to run out of gulp shrimp. I'm going to go buy like eight more packs. That's another 14, 15 inch red. Yours was tiny. I saw how tiny yours was. Yeah, that little thing was like 10, 12 inches. It really did on the little rod. You can get worked pretty easy on the little rod. We're about 40 minutes away from low tide and the fish are just still sitting. Well, technically they're flowing out from underneath of us, but they're just sitting right out in this deeper area where it's not sandy because there's sand all around this hole and that kind of deepens out into probably like five to six feet deep. There you, go. you got one again? Yeah. Are you serious? Oh. oh my gosh. The live and the, the gulp are head to head right now. This what is it? Sucks. The toothpick, the fairy wand. It's another red. Or is it a black drum? Another black drum. Are you kidding me? What the heck is going on? I want one of those. No, not the rod, the black drum. Oh my gosh. Another black drum. Dad's second black drum. What the heck? I want to catch one. There he goes. Gulp shrimp's not catching black drum, I'll tell you that. It should, but it's not. No nope. way. Nope. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? I've been casting here. Okay, so black drum just not having the gulp shrimp today. Ooh. He broke you off, didn't he? He fell off? Fell off. Wow. That's going to be a good black drum or a red. Loosen up, loosen up. That's okay, but there's there's oysters and rocks down there, so you might want to. Can you imagine if I had that fish? Oh my! On the little rod, that would have been crazy. I knew it's either. A, didn't I say it? 25. It's either a 25 inch red. I said that. It's either a 25 inch red or a good sized black drum. What's that's that? a good. That's actually a really good red. It's probably a 23, 24 inch red. Really good one for right now. I got live shrimp on now, so maybe I'll uh, actually catch a black drum for once. Snapper, relentless. They could be, it sounds weird, but they could be a little sheep's head too. Oh, oh, um, he's in the rocks, or he was at least. Is that a black drum? Is that my black drum? No, it's a sheepy. I was just, did I not just say that? I think that was like 10 seconds later, I was saying, I'm surprised there's no sheep's head around. That's actually a big sheep's head. Nice little sheep's head right there. That's first of the trip. We're gonna let him go. Oh my gosh. That sheep's head got stuck in the rocks, it felt like. He was like, good feeling. I already got one. That's big fish. Good fish. Good fish. Brett's got one too? Or are you snagged? Brett's got a black drum over there. No, you have a, that was a black drum. Oh my gosh. That's a good sheep's head right there. Jeez. That was back to back sheep's head right there. Brett just lost the fish as we we're speaking, but that's probably a 14, 13, 14 inch sheep's head. Also, if you guys want to check out Mangear's website, I'm wearing their performance hoodie right now. This is actually the tarpon one. Super comfortable, super lightweight. Every product purchased, they actually plant a mangrove. So you're doing a good thing by purchasing from them. But let's let this guy go. Hopefully get some more. There he goes. Snapper are relentless. This is like my last shrimp. Is there another shrimp left or no? One, last shrimp of the day. Got him, last shrimp of the day. Oh, it's a red too. Oh my gosh, that is great. That is awesome. Come here, bud. There we go. Last shrimp of the day for redfish. That's actually not, okay, okay, okay. There he goes, last fish of the day. It's a good way to end the day. And there you guys have it, live versus gulp shrimp. Came out to a pretty even battle, I would say, live shrimp. Definitely catches more variety, or at least it seemed like it that day. But in terms of catching overall fish, they did very, very similar. And I would say both of them are a very, very good option when it comes to fishing lower tides in the winter with deeper holes. As you guys saw, we're fishing a outgoing negative tide and that just really, really fired the fish up because it draws them into this small, tight area. And really the best way to find areas like that 
is to go on Google Maps and just look on Google Maps for deep spots because if they're deep when it's high tide, you know they're gonna be deeper when it's low tide. So that's really all there is to it. Hopefully you guys took away something from this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.